Hi guys, it's the D's in the house. Watch your mouth. How you guys doing today? I'm having a little, I guess, dinner. I'm having pizza and wings. And I'm going to be doing a review on a movie, which is also a collab with Tasty Mukbang Eats. Let me uh, say my prayer so uh, I can get this going because I'm a little hungry. I got to want to thank you for all my blessings, please. Bless this food that I'm about to receive in the hands to prepare it. Let it be a benefit, not a hindrance to my body. Please bless all my friends and family on and off YouTube. And please bless those less fortunate. In your name I pray. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Alright, alright, alright. How you guys doing today? Get some pepperoni pizza and some hot wings. Nothing special, guys. Mm. I want to bite. Get y'all bite. No. No. Okay, so. The movie I'm reviewing is a Netflix movie called Room. The Room, Room, something like that. Room, The Room. Probably a lot, I know a lot of people have seen it already, but like I said, I'm doing a collab with Tasty Mukbang Eats. Her name will be in the title. The movie was good. It was a good movie. Um, the movie's about. A girl, a young girl, that got kidnapped at the age, I think like of 17. And she was held captive for a total of seven years. I get it all. Now, The movie, I mean, it tells you that. It tells you, you know, what happened to her. She tells she tells the story. She's basically telling the story to her son because she actually has a son while she's captive by the person that cat that kidnapped her. So she tells you all that. But I wish I wish that it would have showed us her being kidnapped and then jump to you know the present. But that's not the way it went. But anyway, like I said, it was a good movie. Movies about a young girl who got kidnapped. Um, she gets pregnant by the man that kidnaps her and that basically sexually abuses her all while she's kidnapped. Puts her in this one room shed. But everything that she needs is in this shed. I mean, she has a bathroom, a tub, a, tub, um, a kitchen, all that. And when the movie starts, her son is just turning five years old. And she's doing the best that she can do with the space that she got. Because obviously the man's not going to let her out. He ain't going to let her out. He don't let her out. He don't want the kid out. He don't do nothing. He just bringing them what, they, what he thinks they need or whatever. So... I guess when the little boy was younger, as he was growing up in this room, um, you know, the mother wasn't forthcoming. I mean, who's going to tell your, your child, look, we've been, I've been kidnapped and I've been living in this room and there's more to life than, this just, than just this. He was thinking everything. I mean, they even had a TV, you know what I mean? So he was thinking, okay, this is not real. This is not real. Nothing's real. Only thing that's real is me living in this room. Then when he turned five, when his birthday came, when he turned five, 
That's what she thinks about. Okay, I need to get up out of here. Why? Right. Now, what? This is not where I want my son to be living, growing up at, thinking this is normal. Long story short. No, not long story short, but. Grandma, can I just say hi? Not right now. Um. So in this room, you know, she's teaching him how to do all these, you know, stay running. He running back and forth doing his little exercises. She's teaching him how to do all these different exercises, you know, just stay healthy. All that little stuff. Poor little boy, you know, basically experienced his mother being abused. Even though she thinks she puts him to sleep and puts him in the thing called the wardrobe, which is the closet, basically. And then the man comes and he does what he has to do with the woman or whatever. Two times the boy was awake and he witnessed it. I'm not saying he witnessed the whole entire thing, but he was up when it was going down. So she just she decided to tell him the truth and be like, you know, I didn't tell you the truth. You was too young to understand. But now you're old enough to understand. There's more to life. This man that we call they called them Uncle. Big, what did they call him? What was his name? Big Nate. Anyway, that's that, that's neither here nor there. But anyway, you know he she was telling him, telling her son that. That man basically is no good. He kidnapped, he kidnapped me and this, that, and the other. And the son got really, really upset. Was like, no, you're lying. I don't like this story, this, that, and the other. Because she would like tell her, tell him stories every day, every night, I guess. And when she decided to tell him the truth, he wasn't trying to hear it. So. I'm sorry, y'all. Angry, y'all. No bite of chicken. I'm so hungry. I'm sorry. I'll give y'all a bite of the other one. <clears throat> so, I'm sorry if y'all hear noise in the background. That's my daughter yelling at Zyla. But anyway. So, anyway, the little boy experiences. See you. Decides to come up with a plan. First plan didn't go through. The first plan was he was sick and he needed to go to the hospital. And then once he got to the hospital, he had the note in his pocket saying, you know, help me, you know, my mom is just any other, just any other, but that didn't work. It didn't happen. A guy, the kidnapper, didn't fall for it. And, um,. So that didn't happen. So she fed off of that plan. Like, well, okay, you wouldn't take him to the hospital. Now he's dead. So she made pretend he was dead. Rolled him up. I mean, they practiced this over and over and over again. Rolled him up in a, in a carpet. This rug. It was like, you gotta be stiff. You gotta be stiff. I'm gonna convince him to take you to and dump your body somewhere. You gotta be stiff. So he was stiff. It finally happened. He came back. She's like, he died. It's your fault. She's like, take him somewhere nice. Around trees and stuff. Tell him, no, not right now. Not right now. I'm talking. At the end, I'll call you in. Get away from my door, please. So. Yeah, so he did. So we took him out. Always hearing his his mother's voice, all that they practice, 
you know, roll, 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 wiggle, 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 wiggle your way out there thing and jump out the jump out the car once it comes to a stop. Well, you know, everything don't go according to plan, but the little boy did it. He unrolled himself out that carpet that was in the back of that man's truck. And he tried his best to, um, he got himself, you know, out the carpet or whatever. And he tried to jump, but you know what I'm saying? When the car stopped, it threw him. He finally did jump out the car, out of the truck, the back of the truck, and ran. And the man caught him. The kidnapper caught him, but he got away because the little boy was like, help, help, help. You stabbed me other. And the man just panicked. The kidnapper just panicked and just drove off. So, the guy that the little boy ran to, you know, called the police or whatever. Of course, a lady, a lady police showed up, was asking the little boy all kinds of questions. The first little boy was just so shook, he didn't know what to say. But finally, he just started talking. But he wasn't, like, like saying everything. Because, I mean, he's... A, he just turned five, so he didn't really understand. He'd never been outside the room, so he didn't understand. So after the, the, the other cop that was driving was like, let's just send him to social services. Just that other little boy I want to be talking about. Just that the other lady was like, just wait a minute. Let me continue to ask him some questions to see if I can figure out some stuff out. I don't know how, but I think in, in, in all actuality... They, they wouldn't have been able to figure nothing from what the little boy said. But, you know, in the movie, she was able to figure out what the little boy was saying. And took the boys, everything the boy said, and, you know, called you know called it into the station. He went to the house. What I was shocked about is that once that little boy got free, I was shocked that that man didn't go back to that house and kill, that, kill, kill the mother. That's what I was shocked about. But he didn't because... Once they found the mother, you know what I'm saying, you know, she was reunited with her son. All hunky-dory. Everything was good. But, she, but you know, things just wasn't great, you know. The little boy was confused about everything. Sorry, y'all. I'm sitting about to eat this chicken, not even there, no. Here, take a bite of that. Okay, y'all want some blue cheese on it? Yeah, I wasn't even trying to get y'all none, see? Too busy talking. But yeah, so... Anyway. So... Where was I at? So they, okay, so... They got, you know, they got free, they caught the man or whatever, he went, I guess he went to jail. She was reunited with her mother. The father, but the, her father, for some reason, couldn't look at the little boy. He was like all disappointed and just couldn't have no relationship. The mother had, the mother and the father had split out, split up. And the girl's father, like he couldn't just like he couldn't have nothing to do with her, nothing, nothing. Well, nothing to do with the little boy. And they couldn't, like, they, the little boy was like, you know, just talking, you know, reminiscing about what happened in the room, and this, that, and the other, and to the, to the point where he was like, I need, I want to go back to the room and visit. And they made, they set it up so the little boy can go back to the room and visit. And it just didn't look the same, you know what I'm saying, because, you know, it was all messed up, and it wasn't like, where they were staying at anymore, you know, the police had ransacked it or whatever, trying to find clues or whatever, but, yeah. Sit down in the chair. The movie was Don't good. Play with <clears throat> the movie was real good. I care about you Little parts of it was unrealistic, but for the most part, it was a good movie. I'm going to just end this right now because Zyla's in there crying. And she's being loud on purpose. You know how that go. But, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty much done anyway. But, yeah, that was, like, the basic, just, 
the gist of the movie. The movie was good. It was some unrealistic parts in it, but you expect that because it's a movie. But yeah. I hope you guys like my little review on my Netflix movie called The Room. Like I said, this is a collab with Tasty Mukbang Eat. Her name will be in the um in the um title. And until the next video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. I know my makeup look crazy. I let I let Zala do it. <laughs> I let Zala do my eyes. But anyway, um, yeah. So good night, guys. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Love you guys.